temper that I have to fix. But I want to clarify something because there are people that are confused. People think if you have a bad temper, it means you're an angry person. That is not true. Couldn't it be further from the truth? There's a big difference between an angry person and someone with a bad temper. Now, an angry person walks around like, the government's going to get me and everything, you know? That's that person. The person with a bad temper is like, hey, what's up? Good to see you. Watch where you're fucking going, dude. <laughs> someone shoulder bumps you to Barnes and say they're sorry. Ooh, right? That's, that's the bad temper. You're happy, then you're not. And there's a difference. And I've been working on it because I don't, I don't want to be this like angry dad. I don't want to be this dude who just can't control his emotions and just loses his temper very quickly. But then I realize that people don't really want you to get better. They don't. <laughs> they don't. I've actually been working hard at it. But every now and then I'll be out with some friends. We'll be at a bar or something. And there'll be some asshole in public being a jerk. You know, you guys have been to bars, some loud guy who seems to be by himself, but he's going from group to group, just bothering everyone. You know, oh, you like that team? Well, that team sucks. Right? He's creeping out all the girls, that guy. That happened a few months ago. I was at that bar, and my friend's like, hey, Joe, do that thing where you yell at strangers. Can you please do that? <laughs> Joe, you want to do that? I'm like, no, actually, I've been working on my temper. I've been I only focus on what I can control. Now, it's been a lot better for me now. I feel like I, I, feel like I have more energy now. I don't, so I'm not stressed. You know, and then they're just like, yeah, that's great. Can you do that like tomorrow though? Tell that guy he's an asshole. Can you please, can you please do that? No, because here's the thing. People with bad temper, you want us. You want us on that wall. You need us on that wall, right? Yeah, because we're there. We're the people who actually get shit done. And now I realize though, that since I've been working on the temper, I've been failing all of you as a society. And I apologize for that right now. I apologize to all of you. I've been failing you. I'll give you an example. This happened not too long ago. My wife and I are driving back from somewhere. It was a route I'd never taken before. And I realized traffic got really bad out of nowhere. And I'm like, why? What's going on right now? It shouldn't be traffic at this time of day. It doesn't make sense. Like the one lane was going real fast, but the lane I was in, all of a sudden was just really slow. And then I noticed the cars in front of me were doing that thing where they go up and then they kind of try to, they got to get in the next lane. So my first thought was, oh no, this is, this is unfortunate for someone. Their car, their car is broken down. Their car has stalled out. They can't move it. And they're blocking a whole lane of traffic. Everyone wants to go around them. That's unfortunate. But then I discover as I get closer that that is not the case. The case is that there is a grown man on a bicycle <laughs> in the middle of a lane of traffic. Now look at, listen, I know there's some cyclists, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves here right now. I get it, okay? If this person was over enough like they should have been, no big deal. But they weren't. They were practically in the middle of both lanes. That's how bad this person was. And, everyone, and the thing is, everyone in front of me, no one beeped aggressively. No one did anything. But then it was my turn. <laughs> so I start to go around him. I go to roll down the passenger side window <laughs> so I could yell across my wife at this person. <laughs> my wife immediately was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? I go, oh, I'm going to yell at this guy. <laughs> Duh. To which she was like, no, 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 please don't. What's the point? You've been working on your temper. There's no need to do this. You know, she's, she's a sweetheart, right? She's being nice. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I listened to her. I rolled the window back up. I went on my way. This was about six months ago. I haven't had a good night of sleep since. It's been eating me up inside. Because now I imagine a scenario in which there was a woman a couple cars behind me. She is trying to get to work on time. Doesn't happen. She's late for like the fourth time that week because that bike rider. She gets to work. She pleads her case with the boss. I don't understand. I don't get, you know. He doesn't care. He's like, you're fired. He fires this lady. She now goes home to her husband who's a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, they're progressive. She tells him the news. He can't believe it. But then he says, you know what? I am so sick of this. You are a loser. I'm leaving you. I'm taking the kids. Yeah. So in a span of a few hours, she's lost her job, her husband, her family. She's now on heroin. <laughs> and it's my fault. It's my fault. Because I didn't do my duty. I didn't do my civic duty. I didn't do what I was born to do. 
And that was roll down the window and tell this piece of shit that he's fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> and some of you here might be thinking to yourself, well, Joe, what would have really happened? What would you have done to stop him from going so slow and blah, blah, blah? I'll tell you what would have happened. I would roll down the window and be like, hey, fuck face. Why don't you look around you, you piece of shit? This isn't your world, right? Yeah, people are trying to make a goddamn living out there and you're fucking it up. Maybe he doesn't do anything. Maybe he yells back from his hand-me-down Schwinn, right? <laughs> right, with his six backpacks on full of comic books, right? Maybe he's doing that. Maybe he's yelling back. What do I do? I do a fucking one of these real quick. Just a real fake, just fake my car into his lane. Just give him a real quick scare. You know what I mean? Make him fucking shit his skinny jeans, right? Make him, you know, real, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe did that. And I guarantee you this, he never takes that route again. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs>